Hey, what's going on, Who That Nation? It is yours truly, TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Saints podcast. And for a few minutes, I just want to talk a little bit about Marcus Williams. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because, to be quite honest with you, man, I think that I have done like personal videos on every single Saints starter that you can think of, but I never did a video on Marcus Williams. And Marcus Williams is probably one of the most controversial Saints players that they have on their team. I mean, Marcus Williams has been the topic of conversation ever since he's come into the league in 2017. Some has been good conversation. Some has been bad conversation. A lot of people can't get out of their minds about the whole Minneapolis miracle about him missing attack on Stefan Diggs. And, you know, for some apparent reason, people take that particular moment and it seems to me like they just apply it to his entire career. I say that to say this, who that nation. For all those out there criticizing Marcus Williams, for all those that are out there talking about the guy can't play, for all those that are saying that the Saints need to trade or even release Marcus Williams, I have to say to you, you know absolutely nothing about football. I'm just going to tell you the truth. You don't know anything about football. And honestly, if you think that this guy's a bad football player, I hate to see who you think is a good football player. Marcus Williams, since 2017, has been the highest rated safety in the entire league. This dude has a pro football focus average of 90.7. I mean, he is better than the majority of the safeties that are household names in the league. This guy has been a ball hawk. You know what I'm saying? He has been a guy that's been in, in the secondary that has been getting interceptions. His rookie season, he had five interceptions. He led, I think, all safeties in that category. The second year, he had a little bit of a drop-off. He had three interceptions. And I think this past season, he had three interceptions as well. So I'm just wondering to myself, why are people saying that this guy is not a good football player? Now, if you want to talk about some of his technique, then maybe we can have a conversation. I mean, yeah, I have been on record calling Marcus Williams the notorious knee tackler because that's what he does, man. Instead of him going up top and trying to put his uh, shoulder pad into the chest of a, def of a player, he turns around and just tries to go at a guy's ankles. And I, I really don't understand that for a guy that's about six foot one and about 211 or 12 pounds. So I don't understand that. But I feel like his career is going to change this season, okay? I feel like it's going to change this season because the Saints added Malcolm Jenkins. And I promise you, man, if you haven't been a Saints fan that long, if you just joined the Who That Nation, go back and watch Malcolm Jenkins when he was playing for the New Orleans Saints earlier in his career before he left and went to the Philadelphia Eagles. You will see that a lot of the characteristics that a young Malcolm Jenkins had a young Marcus Williams has. And I feel like Malcolm Jenkins can wrap his arms around Marcus Williams, can take him under his wing, and kind of teach him some of the things that, that he's missing. One thing I feel like Marcus Williams is missing is a little bit of aggression. You know, he's not really a, that much of an a, a aggressive player. I think I only seen maybe one play where I felt like, you know, he really brung the wood. And I think that's when he hit a wide receiver Humphreys for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And, you know, that's probably the one play I was seeing him do where I was like, man, he came to bring the wood today. But I feel like Marcus Williams has an issue with aggression. Another thing I feel like he has an issue with is, you know, it just going out there and, and tackling and wrapping up. I feel like it's too much of stripping, too much trying to get an interception, force fumbling a football. I feel like it's too much of that going on with Marcus Williams. Look, Marcus Williams is a really good safety, man. And I feel like he just has a few things that he needs to clean up. But the Saints, under no circumstances, should be thinking about releasing this guy or getting rid of this guy. He is a really good safety with a lot of promise. And I'm going on record right now. If the New Orleans Saints were to get rid of Marcus Williams, if they were to not sign him back, if they were to just let him go and walk, that would be one of the biggest mistakes the New Orleans Saints ever made because Marcus Williams will go to another team and he will flourish. So I feel like the Saints need to uh, get with him. And I, I like the move with Malcolm Jenkins because I know he's going to uh, show true leadership 
and, and, and be a mentor to him. And I feel like if you do that, then Marcus Williams is going to turn a corner and a lot of people in the Huda Nation are going to be eating their words. But I, I still don't understand why anybody would think this guy is a bad football player because clearly he is not. But I would love to hear from you. What do you think about Marcus Williams? What do you think about him uh, possibly being traded? What do you think about some people in the Huda Nation saying that uh, he's not all that? Comment down below, like, and share this video. This has been the State of the Saints podcast. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com, search The State of the Saints podcast, facebook.com, search The State of the Saints podcast, and you can also uh, use Alexa, and all you have to do is say, Alexa, I want to hear The State of the Saints podcast, and you'll check out all of the previous episodes that I've done, and the most recent episode will be available to you. Till next time, all I got to say is, who that?